Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So, continuing our series on testing uh, bullet penetration through various materials that you might conceivably think of using for improvised body armor. Today, I've got some urethane foam with a cement plaster coating. Uh, you know, once again, this is a common building material. You know, typically the urethane foam would be sprayed on a wall first uh, to act as insulation, and then the cement plaster would be sprayed on on top of that, and it would all cure in place. Um, you know, I've seen people recommend things like uh, floor tiles for stopping bullets, and the cement plaster is probably almost as thick as a floor tile, uh, and then you've got the uh, foam behind it to provide some, some bulk or something. Uh, so, uh, it's lightweight, it is fairly hard, at least on the surface. Honestly, I don't think I have a lot of confidence in its ability to stop bullets, but I've got a bunch of scraps of this stuff lying around, so I figure we might as well shoot it and find out. As usual, I'm going to start with a 9mm. I think this is representative of sort of the lower half of the power spectrum of handgun cartridges. Uh, so we'll start with that, and if it's capable of stopping that, then maybe we'll move up to something else. Well, sure enough, 9mm went right through. But let's try stacking up multiple layers of this and see if that does any good. Okay, well, I ended up shooting the stack twice because the camera, for some reason, didn't record the first shot. Um, Sure enough, by stacking up enough layers of this, we were able to catch the bullet. Uh, but on the first shot, it took five layers, and on the second shot, it took four. So, you're looking at that thickness of material. I'm afraid that that is horrendously impractical for making body armor, even though it's still light enough that uh, you might be able to carry the weight, but I think the bulk would be prohibitive. So, once again, relatively quick test, but still potentially some useful data. Uh, okay, actually, one more thing. Uh, you know, when it took four pieces of the cement-covered foam to stop the 9mm, I figured we could probably rule it out for any kind of body armor applications and that the test was over. But after I wrapped up the video, I still had these, uh, you know, foam plates sitting on the table. And so I figured, well, I'll just take a couple shots at them with my rifle to, to blow them all to pieces. And much to my surprise, the 223 didn't penetrate any further than the 9mm in my first shot. So, I want to see if I can reproduce that result on camera, for starters. And then if so, you know, that could be a very interesting uh, result to contemplate. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Well, sure enough, I mean, it took five pieces of this stuff to stop the bullet, but it took exactly the same thickness to stop a 223 rifle round as a 9mm handgun round. Uh, that is a really unusual result. By now, I've got enough holes in this stuff that the cement plaster is uh, starting to break up, but just out of curiosity, Let's fire a 44 Magnum at it and see what that does. Well, sure enough, uh, here in the sixth plate, right at the uh, front, we have the 44 Magnum bullet lodged in the plaster. Um, so it did penetrate a little bit further. I'm not sure if that's because the 44 Magnum is actually better at penetrating this material, or just because the material was shot up enough at this point that 
the bullet went a little bit further. Um, now, once again, you know, because of the thickness required to stop any of these bullets, I don't think that this material itself uh, is ever likely to be practical for improvised armor applications. But the fact that it took exactly the same amount of material or just about the same amount of material to stop a wide variety of handgun and even light rifle rounds tells me that this concept of you know, alternating layers of something hard and brittle like plaster and something sort of firm and resilient like foam might lend itself to armor applications. Uh, it, it might at least be something researching further. So I'm not sure what exactly I'll come up with or how I'd want to implement that kind of a concept. It's definitely going to be something I'm thinking about. And uh, if I come up with uh, maybe a more practical version of it to test for you, well, uh, I'll see you then. So until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.